This is also very special because Westmont and Cottage have so much in common, from a commitment to our mission, to a culture of respect, to common core values that include excellence, integrity, and compassion. Part of this is due to having many of Santa Barbara's best volunteer leaders serve on both of our boards or in other leadership roles. People like Ed Birch, Dave Spainauer, Ger Giordano, and now Steve Fellows, who just retired after 15 years serving with me as the Chief Operating Officer at Cottage, and Denise Fellows, who chairs the Westmont Foundation Board. We are family. Our community has also benefited from collaboration between Westmont and Cottage. When we worked on addressing the cost of housing for our staff, our very first call was to Westmont to learn about their approach to faculty housing. Westmont Vice President Ron Kronk was not only helpful in every possible way, he continues to serve on the board that oversees our affordable development that is now home to 81 cottage nurses and other professional staff. A third reason the President's Medal is so meaningful to me is very personal. Mary and I owe our good fortune in moving to Santa Barbara to a former president of Westmont. Dr. David Winter not only was a trustee on the cottage board at the time, but he also served on the cottage search committee that resulted in our move from Minnesota in 1987. David was one of the first people I met even before moving here, and like others who knew him, I was in awe. A true humble servant leader, an authentic leader, with a faith that was foundational in both his personal and his professional life. I soon learned that these were also Westmont values. As you all know, Westmont continues to be blessed with this legacy of dedicated, and, uh, dedicated leaders and gifted educators, all with very big hearts and very big minds. Yale has not only continued this legacy, but has advanced it both as a leading academic institution and a treasured community resource. Gail, I always learn from your thoughtful and insightful approach to every conversation. Your forward-thinking work in advancing what has consistently been one of the top 100 liberal arts colleges in the country, and your inspiring faith and leadership in the most challenging of times in these recent years. Westmont is indeed a community treasure. Westmont looks at community needs and addresses them. I can't think of a better example than your work in developing a baccalaureate nursing program in response to a local community need. We are very proud to be your partners in this effort, and we look forward to Westmont nursing students walking the halls of Cottage next year for their clinical rotations and to have, having Westmont RN grads joining us in our work. Your emphasis on admitting students who reflect the diversity of our community um, is in line with our work on addressing healthcare disparities, particularly for vulnerable populations and by race and ethnicity. And finally, to you graduates. Congratulations to you. You've completed rigorous coursework, perhaps including language proficiency. You've earned a prestigious degree from one of the best colleges in the nation, and you have shown incredible resiliency, dedication, and commitment under very challenging circumstances. We are all so very proud of you. I also want to thank you, all of you grads. Westmont saw something very special in you when you were admitted. Nice job, parents. And I know that they were right. I know this because many of you have volunteered at Cottage. And I'm always so happy to meet a Westmont student who's volunteering in that green jacket in the emergency department or pediatrics or the birth center or in physical therapy or occupational therapy. You make a real difference in the lives of patients and families and in the lives and the work of our staff at Cottage. I also want to plant a seed. Since I've been at Cottage, we've had over 100 graduates join our staff. When I meet a Westmont grad at new employee orientation or a Westmont grad who's now a physician on our medical staff, I always smile. I know they're going to add so much to our work, not just in the work, but the way in which it's done. I get to work closely with some of them, like Jade Bundell in Human Resources, who runs our orientation program, or Julie Morgan, who now heads up all of our urgent care centers, or Kara Silva, our new director of population health. These people are all incredible, and they all share Westmont core values. We're lucky to have them on our team. So yes, I am shamefully using this opportunity to recruit you to healthcare and to cottage. I hope to see you at orientation. Once again, congratulations. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much for this recognition today. I'm very honored and very grateful to be here with you today. Thank you.